I'm John Easley. I'm a veterinarian from Plymouth, Wisconsin. Uh, I've been involved with the mink industry for 10 to 12 years now. I primarily was a dairy practitioner and uh, there weren't any veterinarians involved with the industry in my area. So they asked me to become involved and, and I found the industry very interesting. So I just continued to develop that and, and I became more involved all the time. My typical uh, uh, visit to a mink farm would be that usually I'm called uh, because they're, they're experiencing some type of an issue. And it, and it may be a health issue, it may be a management issue, uh, it may ha you know, have to do with other aspects of the industry that, that I'm involved with. And the mink farmers that I've been involved with are, are very good animal caretakers. They really care about the animals that they're, that they're raising, that are under their supervision. So they, um, if when they see something wrong, they know what these animals are, they know what normals are, so they know when there's an abnormality going on. So then we'll go to a try and investigate that and do diagnostic work just like we would do in the cattle industry or with a dog or a cat. If there's something wrong, we try to investigate it to find out you know, what's causing those symptoms and then you know, develop a plan to uh, correct that situation. We raise the mink to produce a high quality pelt. So we've had to devise a system that, that accents that. And so uh, along those lines, we've done a lot of research to understand what is the best way to house the, the mink themselves um, how to uh, satisfy them in their, in their reproductive needs, their nutritional needs, um, uh, and their housing needs. So uh, the industry itself has done, uh, to their credit, uh, a, lot of, a lot of research to understand what is best for the mink. Mink farming in, in, in agriculture has uh, a, quite a niche uh, position because the mink industry utilizes a lot of uh, human food chain byproduct that normally would have been wasted and, and there uh, the mink industry is utilizing that you know as, as the, the nutrition for their mink. Uh, it keeps uh, those products from going into to landfills which would again have to be dealt with uh, in, in all scenarios. But then but then also the, the industry and the, the mink industry itself has the ability to utilize not only the animal for its, for its pelt but uh, byproducts of raising raising the mink. Um, the, the, the fat that comes from, from the mink is utilized for diesel fuel. It's, it's used in a tanning process. The carcasses themselves are rendered in, in lots of products can be derived from that rendered uh, product for other products that are used in manufacturing. Um, the manure can be used as fertilizer. It's a very good fertilizer for, for specific types of of uh, land application, and then also uh, the ability of the the uh, manure to be used in in or anaerobic digesters, which um, then can produce methane gas, which produces electricity for surrounding um, economies. So there's there's a lot that can be and, and is used uh, to support the rest of of society, um, not only just the production of fur.